Hello, and welcome to another edition of Golf Soup. As always, I'm your host, James Lee. This week, we're at Moxon Bend for our nine holes of golf. We're going off the backside. It is April 15th, 2014, and I'm freezing my rear off right now. Winter just will not go away. Um, very cold out here. It's, it's a blistering, about 46 degrees, and we'll be dropping from here on. And uh, the wind is howling out here today. This could be a... Uh, this will be a very, very challenging nine holes of golf to play. Um, I always love coming over here to Moxon Bend, uh, Devere and, and Ron and, and Rusty and the guys are always so very good to us and uh, working us in here today so that we can get a new show to you guys. And uh, we'll take a quick commercial break and we'll come back and film this as expediently as we possibly can. See you in a moment. Come see for yourself why Larry Hill Ford in Cleveland has been awarded Tennessee Ford Dealer of the Year for the third year in a row. Go to DealerRaider.com, read the reviews, then decide where you want to buy your next new Ford. We live in Ottawa. We shopped around, went to Larry Hill Ford, found this sweet F-150. We love it. We got a great deal, and I'll tell all my friends, we'll go back. Thank you, Larry Hill Ford. Take I-75 to exit 20 and go one mile east, or go online to LarryHillOnline. See for yourself why Larry Hill Ford in Cleveland has been awarded Tennessee Ford Dealer of the Year for the third year in a row. Go to DealerRaider.com, read the reviews, then decide where you want to buy your next new Ford. We just purchased our second vehicle this week from Andre and Mike. I would recommend anybody to come here to Larry Hill. This is my second car. I recommend everyone to buy here at Larry Hill. Take I-75 to exit 20 and go one mile east or go online to LarryHillOnline.com. Welcome back to Golf Soup, ladies and gentlemen. As always, thank you to Larry Hill Ford for their sponsorship of our show. Uh, we're on the 10th tee here at Moxon Bend Golf Club, 184 yards from where we're playing it today, and it's going to be a brute. The club, the wind is about a two-club wind. Ordinarily, I'd hit a, a six iron here. I've got four iron in my hand. I, I still think I'm going to have to sting it a little bit and keep it under the wind. As I said, it's uh, brutal conditions out here already having trouble feeling my hands, so let's play golf and see what happens today. Cooper, that's just right of the flag, right center of the green, get up, trail up there, it's on. Not a bad opening shot, kind of a longish putt, but, but uh, stung it just like I wanted to, kept it through the wind and, and managed to get it on the green. Let's see if we can two putt that for par. Hell, good opening and tee shot, but it, like I said, it's a long putt. I don't know the speed of the greens. We, as always, just jumped straight out of the car and straight to the first tee. Ordinarily, I take my glove off, but my hands are so cold, I'm leaving it on the putt today. Oh, I've pulled that miserably and left it way short. Terrible, terrible opening putt. All right, a very, very poor first putt. A lot of that had to do with just the cold. Let's see if I can pull it together here. Got about seven foot left for my, for my par. Pretty straight putt here. Pulled it again, didn't get it there. Man, that's two horrible putts to start the day. God, I suck. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna have to, I got no feel. <laughs> of course, as cold as it is, it's gonna be tough to get feel out here today. Gonna have to knock them closer than that. All right, move on to the 11th hole. Eleventh hole here at Moxon Bend Golf Club. Par four. The scorecard says 406. I don't believe that's accurate from where we're from. I'm playing the whites today because it's just so cold and windy. <laughs> I'm a baby, aren't I, Cooper? Anyway, uh, I think it's this this hole plays a little closer to 340 than it does 406. Pretty wide open par five. You got some pine trees to the left. If you duck hook one, they're gonna come into play. Got out of bounds to the right, but it's pretty good ways over there to that. Just gonna try to make some kind of loose swing with the driver here. Cooper, that's up the right side, but turning back, be in the right center when it's done. Not bad. Didn't catch all of it, so it's not gonna be just tremendously down there. Of course, it's right in the teeth of the wind, too, so. But not a bad start. All right, guys, good drive. Much better drive than I thought I hit off the first hole. I don't know if. 
I surely couldn't hit the cart path, but we've only got about, all we got, Cooper, 60 yards in to a front cut pin. Was very surprised this ball went as far as it did. But hey, we'll take it. So we get it on the green, get the flat stick working. Just right of the pin, Coop. Very good distance control. That's a good look at birdie we got there. Hey, I finally hit a decent wedge shot. It's been a while since I've done that. See if I can get a putt close to the hole. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have got a good look at birdie here. Probably about 10 feet. Should break a little to my left. I'm hoping it breaks a little to my left. Well, first of all, I'm hoping I can put it on the line I choose. All right, putter, get started. I pulled it again. Another bad stroke. That's three bad strokes in a row. But we almost made that one. It was never going in because it started well left of my, my line. Bogey par start here, Mark's been again. It's a very cold, very windy day. So anything we get around par today, I'm going to be happy with. But I got a long way to go still. Hold on, number 12 here, Moxon Bend Golf Club. 374 yards from where we're at today. This pretty much just a grip and rip tee shot anymore. Uh, there is out of bounds to the right, but you've got to hit a really, really bad shot now. Used to, before the storms of 27th, you had all the trees to the left, and your, your aiming point was straight down the fairway at the telephone pole, which brought the out of bounds into play. With all those trees gone now, you've got so much opened up to the left over there that you really got to hit a bad shot to hit it out of bounds here. Cooper, that is right between the pole and the tree, and it is spanked. I would like to bottle that drive and sell it online. Anyway, good start on this hole. Let's see if we can get something going here. Doggone. Good drive. I hit that drive very, very well, but it too ended up in a position I didn't think it would. It's a little further left than I thought it was off the tee. I'm not behind this tree, but it's just close enough to make you think about it. Got about 115 yards. The wind is howling in one minute and it's dead silent the next. I've got pitching wedge in my hand because it was blowing pretty hard when I got out of the cart. I'm gonna stay with it and just hit a little knockdown. Right at the flag, Cooper. I mean, right at it. Be good, baby. Golly. Yes, it was. Man, that was a, golly, I thought that was gonna be gravy good there. Went over the green, right over the flag and over the greens. Put us in a tight spot now. We're in a tight spot. Well, like I said, I'm in a very tight spot now. I don't want no fault. I'm a dapper damn man. I'm in a tight spot. I'm short-sided. The green is well above me here. It's just a tough shot. I got to make a decision whether to take my medicine, try to make a long putt, or try to get it close and take a chance on leaving it short. Here we go. Oh, I did it. I pulled it off beautifully, I believe. Stop rolling. That's not bad. Good little shot there. We can make that coop. All right, if I'm gonna get my putter going, here's a spot where I really need it going. I thought my ball was a little closer, but it's about eight feet here. Let's see if I can get back in a good position on the putter here. Boom, all right. Nice par save. I've, I don't think I've ever played this hole from behind the green, and it was a, a difficult shot. I got, well, I hit a good shot. I was gonna say I got lucky, but I hit the exact shot I had in my head. So uh, par kind of rights the ship here for golf suit. One over par after that, sorry, three putt on the first hole. Got a par five coming up. Into the wind, might not be able to get there, but it's still a par five. Hole number 
Hole number 13 here at Moxie Bend Golf Club, the River Hole. Par five, 489 yards from where we're at today. We've changed direction so the wind's not gonna be hurting us as much. Might even help a little bit. It's more blowing from right to left than anything else. Uh, this hole here just requires two good golf shots to uh, to get where you need to be. You know, it's it's a not a bad driving hole. I mean, the out of bounds comes into play a little bit more than the holes we've played so far, but still a very wide fairway. You got to get the drive before you can get the good second shot. So there is a bunker to the left. I do want to avoid that. Cooper, that's as middle as it can be. I mean, dead middle. Good start there, good drive. All right, let's see if we can get that good second shot. All right, guys, after a great debacle, I thought I was inside the 200 yard marker. Turns out I'm inside the 250. I had to walk all the way back, get more clubs. We got about 225 left here. Um, five irons, 200 yard club, but the wind is definitely helping at this moment. So let's see if we can get that good second shot I was talking about. Oh, Cooper, that's super solid, but I pulled it and turned it over left. God, that's a long way, too. I think I actually hit it past green, huh? But I hit it significantly amount left. I don't have no little pitch shot. I got a more of a flip wedge. Whew, bad shot. All right, not a, not a very good second shot. Not as bad as we thought. I, I thought it was well past pin high. Turns out I'm, I'm just right at pin high here, so it's not as difficult to pitch as I thought. I believe there's a little leprechaun out here moving my ball every time I make a swing. I got 60 degree in my hand. The green's kind of elevated, sloped back toward me. I should be able to be aggressive on this chip. Mm. That wind moved that ball good six, seven feet just in that short of a distance. That's how hard it's blowing out here. Anyway, I got about eight footer for birdie. Uh, maybe a, a scope's more than eight feet, maybe about a nine footer here. Not an exceptionally good pitch shot, but not terrible either. I'm roll another good putt here. Move. Move over there. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I didn't factor the wind in, Cooper. I sure did. I don't know if it kept it that far out, but I hit my line. I just misread it, or the wind did keep it out one or two. Hate to give up a, a birdie on a par five after a good drive like that and being in such good position, but it happens. Tough day out here. We well, got some opportunities coming in. Hole number 14 here at Mox Bend Golf Club, a par three, 450 feet in length, or 150 yards, there, how you wanna look at it. Cooper looked at me like I was crazy when I said that. Uh, again, wind is a, a major factor here. It's actually playing about 156 from where we're at. I've got nine iron in my hand. Just try to put this in at the center of the green, which ironically is where the pin's at. So. Make a good smooth swing. That's left side of the green Cooper. Wind is bringing it back a little bit and short. Wow. Swung too smooth at that. I should have got on it a little bit more. Another GIR missed. Terrible, man. Our second shot here on the par three. I'm only about maybe seven, eight feet off the green. And normally I would putt these, but it's very wet out here today. And this area is, the area I'm in's a little wetter than some others, so I'm gonna pitch this one. Go in, go in, golly. Yeah, I ran it by about four feet, but pretty good attempt anyway. Just a little cleanup work here. A little more than I'd like to have, but still, it's just a, a stinking four-footer. It's just take the putter back, take it through. 
situation. Back and through. There you go. All right, good par here. Still, still on the par train after the bogey on the first. Golf suit still one over through 14 holes. We're going to break away for just a moment and hear some words from our fine sponsor, Larry Hill Ford there in Cleveland. And we'll rejoin you on the 15th tee in 30 seconds. Come see for yourself why Larry Hill Ford in Cleveland has been awarded Tennessee Ford Dealer of the Year for the third year in a row. Go to DealerRaider.com, read the reviews, then decide where you want to buy your next new Ford. We just purchased our second vehicle this week from Andre and Mike. I would recommend anybody to come here to Larry Hill. This is my second car. I recommend everyone to buy here. Larry Take I-75 to exit 20 and go one mile east or go online to Larry Hill Online. See for yourself why Larry Hill Ford in Cleveland has been awarded Tennessee Ford Dealer of the Year for the third year in a row. Go to DealerRaider.com, read the reviews, then decide where you want to buy your next new Ford. We live in Ottawa. We shopped around, went to Larry Hill Ford, found this sweet F-150. We love it. We got a great deal. And I'll tell all my friends, we'll go back. Thank you, Larry Hill Ford. Take I-75 to exit 20 and go one mile east or go online to LarryHillOnline.com. Welcome back to Golf Soup, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks again to Larry Hill Ford, as always. Uh, 15th hole here at Moxon Bend, 386 yards from where we're at today. This one is literally just wide open. There's, there's one tree up there that looks like a bonsai tree uh, that could get in your way. Uh, other than that, very, I don't want to say, very subdued hole. Uh, however, the wind is dead in our face now, so you got to crack the driver pretty good to get a decent iron in on the second shot. Try to hit this one a little lower than I have been hitting it with a little draw. Cooper, what, exactly what I call it, low, but it's a little more draw. It's going to be on the left side of the, actually it'll be in the left rough but it all got a lot to run off that slope. Get us up there around the 150 yard marker or less, hopefully. All right, just outside the fairway, just a, well, there's your fairway cut right there. So we didn't miss it by much, but we did not miss it. Uh, wind is again, howling pretty good. When we stepped up here, it was really howling. Here it comes back again. I've got about 148 yards and I've chosen a seven iron. Normally this would be a nine iron or a wedge in the summertime, but the wind is really bearing down. All right, good solid shot, buddy. Cooper started at the flag and it's turning over. It's gonna be on the left side of the green if it's the right club, and it is. Long putt, something I struggled with on the very first hole, but I think I got putting issues worked out a little bit. So we can two putt this one for par, and make some birdies coming down the last three. Well, we just got a little bitty old birdie putt here, about 65, maybe 70 feet. This is a long one. Greens are slow. I'm going to have to give this a heck of a wrap to get it there. Oh, that's a heck of a wrap, all right. You might have putted it off the damn green. Wow. Well, you're not that slow. <laughs> Horrible, man. Another very bad long putt from me. Leaves me another seven, eight footer for par. Can I make one more of them? Yes. Wow. I'm lucky to get that one. I'll be perfectly honest with everybody. I misread that one. I just pulled that one enough to, to go in the hole because I didn't think it would break that much. So two negatives equal to positive there. Equal to par for golf suit. Three holes to go. Sixteenth hole here at Moxon Bend Golf Club. Par four, 341 yards in length. Trees right, trees left, but all in all, a, a very playable hole. The wind is dead behind me. I wish it'd pick up a little more. A good drive here could pay some dividends. So there's that wind. Let's see if I can catch it. Oh, I caught it to the left, Cooper. About where it was last time we played here. It's gonna be up around 17T. Not a good shot. 
trying to hurry and catch that wind and just didn't make a good swing at it at all. But fortunately, I hit it so bad I got left of the, the pine trees, the white pines up there, so we'll have a clear shot at the green. All right, that was just a poor swing off the tee box. That's the only way to describe it. Can't sugarcoat bad, and that was bad. But it was so bad, I've got an open shot, about 100 yards left here. The green's receptive. Let's see if I can throw one in there on it. That's gonna be short, Cooper. Hit the cart path. Hit it fat. I don't get it. I'm an idiot. That's what I know. Terrible, man. Well, that's two very, very poor shots. I've taken what should have been a, a golden opportunity for birdie, and I'm struggling mightily for the par now. This is about a 20-yard pitch. Be right. Let go a little more. Mm. I was afraid of not being able to keep it short of the hole, and I actually did keep it short of the hole. Got another one of those left or right seven, eight footers for par. All right, this is a little more than seven or eight feet. This is about a 10 footer here. I've been lucky so far today. If I got one more in me, just asking for one more. I didn't hit it. Boy, I got the line dead and I didn't hit it. <clears throat> what a silly, silly little man you are. Bogey on one of the easier holes out here at Moxon Bend Golf Club. That's the greatness of golf suit. We can turn any good situation bad in a heartbeat. <laughs> and we did it there. Oh, me. Two over par now. Even par is probably out of our realm. Let's see if we can get it home with at least one birdie and no more damage. Hole 17 here at Moxon Bend Golf Club. 349 yard par four. Right back into the teeth of the wind. This on this side, probably the most demanding driving hole. You got rows of tree or row of trees to the right. You got a clump of trees to the left out there. So my driver has not been good the last few swings. Let's see if we can right the ship here. Right up the middle, Cooper, with a little draw. That's beautiful. Dead center. All right, maybe we can get ourselves a birdie opportunity here. Usually an easy hole, but the, the wind's what's making it hard today. Good drive, finally got the driver back in good shape here. We got 99 yards to the center of the green, pin is up. So probably not that much, however, the wind is still howling. We got a green ball on the green up there. I have no idea whose that is. All right, one good wedge swing. That's off to the right a little bit, gonna be the right side of the green, if it's enough. Just short of the green and getting further away all the time. Mm. Came up and out of that one just a little bit and the wind is kind of blowing it that direction so it kind of took the ball that way a little bit too. All in all, another poor wet shot. You stupid man. All right, I called that second shot short but it's actually pin high. All in all, it wasn't as bad a shot as I made out. I just didn't factor in the wind taking it to the right. And I should have done that. I get in a hurry out here sometimes. A little testy little pitch here. Nope. Thought that one was going in. Like the one back on 14. Well, 14 didn't go in. Not a bad pitch. Five footer left though. Ran out a little bit more than I would like to have seen it run out. But Again, just a five footer, it's a take it back, take it through scenario. This one will move to my left though, so I gotta pay some attention to it. There you go. Good par there. Leaves golf suit two over par, one hole to play. It is a par five. I've made multiple eagles on it on camera, so let's see if we can duplicate those days. And I think my putter just broke. It dang sure did. Dog. Our 18th and final hole here at Moxon Bend today, 468 yard par five. 
wind should be helping us a little now, or I shouldn't say should be, wind is helping us a little bit. It's not dead down wind, but kind of crossing us a little bit. Bunker to the right, want to avoid it, some trees to the left. Just want to really put this one up in the air and let it ride as much of the wind as it can. That's up in the air, but I've pulled it left. It's gonna stay right of the trees. That's in fine shape. In fact, it might have even stayed in the fairway. Not bad. Give us a good second shot in. All right, guys, pretty good drive, not bad. Got about 185 yards left here to this par five. The pin is on the back right. And that is a very, very, very difficult hole location to get to. I'll be happy with center of the green, although I'm going to start it. Wind's down, Cooper. I ain't walking back over there. It's too cold. If this goes in a bunker, it goes in a bunker. We'll have to get all over this 7-iron. Cooper, that's right at the flag. Maybe a little left of the flag now. Hit very well. Didn't get there. Just wasn't enough wind behind us. If it had stayed up, like it was when we came over here, it had been a different story, but came up just short. Just short. I mean, man, just a, a breath of wind more, and I believe we would have got it back there. Been looking at a really good putted eagle, but as it is, I'm sure the green got a pitch here. I am on the snide for birdies. I need a good pitch shot here. Oh, what a kick. Do you see that, Cooper? And we still got a good putt at it, but that that was going right at the fly. Man, it's not my day today. Let's see if we can make this final putt. Our be best look at birdie so far today. About six feet, should have been a little closer. Didn't get a real good kick. To finish one over. Bingo. Well, something positive came out of the day and my putter's loose. Maybe I should keep it loose. Another repair job to do on my patchwork clubs that I got in my bag there. Uh, I want to thank the guys at Mox and Ben for, for having us out today. I always appreciate them. We, we enjoy coming over here and filming, even though it's cold and Cooper wants me to hurry up. So uh, I'll send it off to a commercial break and hear from Larry Hill Ford, and I'll be right back here to uh, wrap up the show in just Come a see moment. for yourself why Larry Hill Ford in Cleveland has been awarded Tennessee Ford Dealer of the Year for the third year in a row. Go to DealerRaider.com, read the reviews, then decide where you want to buy your next new Ford. We live in Ottawa. We shopped around, went to Larry Hill Ford, found this sweet F-150. We love it. We got a great deal, and I'll tell all my friends, we'll go back. Thank you, Larry Hill Ford. Take I-75 to exit 20 and go one mile east or go online to LarryHillOnline.com. Welcome back to Golf Soup, and as always, thank you to Larry Hill Ford there. And Guys, uh, thanks for joining us this week. This was a, a difficult week to uh, for us to film, man. It's it's cold out here right now. Cooper and I are both ready to get in and out of, out of the wind. Uh, we we're going to go to Valley Brook this week, but the weather has got everything all screwed up. I'm not going to start this closing over because it's just too diggum cold out here. Sorry for the phone call. For Jeff Cooper, Brad, Brad Allen, Michelle Wilkins, everybody here at Golf Soup, I'm James Leith, and we'll see you on the course.